listen to this terrible news. Poku, okay, Poku suffered a humorous fracture. Yup, humorous fractured in an off-season workout. And I wasn't a super fanatic on the Poku. Like, I was super intrigued by the guy. I knew there was some risk, and I knew he was, you know what I mean? Wherever he got taken, that that you had to be patient with them because it was all about his body coming into his own. But Poku, I don't even know. They kind of played him more of a big this year compared to the first couple of years. They played him more of a guard, but he suffered a small fracture in his right humerus during an off-season workout. Per the team, Poku will be reevaluated in four to six weeks. And Poku is coming off somewhat of a lost season. He played in only 34 games in his third year due to various injuries. The most serious injury was a non-displaced fracture in his left tibial pl- plateau. And that injury caused Poku to miss the bulk of the second half of the season. And he's a seven-foot potential unicorn. Either he's a wing, a forward, or a center at this point who has one season left on his rookie contract. And Poku is extension eligible, eligible this offseason, but it's unclear if he has a future with the team. I, again, guys, I'm a big Poku fan, always have been, will continue to be one, but I'll be the first one to admit that I was caught off guard by this injury. And for a guy like Poku, who he needs as much time, I, he they might, because they're trying to become contenders, they might end up trading him to, I don't even know who's rebuilding at this point, by the way. Because every rebuilding team is right now being as if they're contending next year. That's how they're treating this offseason. And I think that's the interesting part in all this. And Poku's a guy for his career has averages of 7.9 points, 4.9 rebounds, and 2.1 assists. All right. And what's interesting is that this year was his best P player efficiency rating and his stats per game, okay? He got the least minutes since his rookie year, but he also averaged the same amount of points. Basically, his stats, he was more efficient this year. He had a 51% effective field goal percentage. He was shooting 48%, you know, inside the arc, 36.5% on three attempts a game from three and 43% overall from the field. So, there's a guy in there. Just we need to figure out what position he plays. And I feel like he could get unlocked. But let me know. Let me know. I'm curious. But yeah, this is unfortunate.